you know, when you do the three minute videos, you never get everything in there you want to say. So we're going to make this short and sweet, hopefully. Will Smith, Chris Rock, the Oscars, and that's that you heard across the world. My problem is, when the joke was done, or said, excuse me, by Chris Rock, Will laughed, and so did a lot of people. He, he did. There's YouTube proof, so feel free to browse. Next thing you see is this man getting up out of his chair. Walking up there and popping that man dead in the face. Then he was cussed out because he wanted, Will wanted him to keep his wife's name at his mouth. I didn't know she had issues with alopecia. Does Chris Rock know that? I'm not sure. So if he, if he did, he's lucky that's all that happened, right? Because Will was protecting his family. Correct? Next thing I want to talk about. There's evidence of the fact that when it was all said and done, he had other actors comforting him. Where are the police department? Where are the cuffs? If I, you or I decided to hit somebody, we would be arrested. And off the jail, we would go. Why? What's so different from them? I'll tell you. Money. He has money. Now, don't get me wrong. He is a very good actor, in my opinion. I mean, I don't really follow his stuff, but he's pretty good. Very versatile and all that. My thing is this. Would you look at uh, Will Smith? He has stress in his eyes. He's sure it's a lot of stress on him because he sh holds his shoulders differently. And maybe, just maybe, this was the last thing that would break the camel's back and cause that outburst. Am I for Will? No. Am I against Will? No. I'm not for Chris Rock or against Chris Rock. I am for getting down to the nitty gritty why he felt he needed to pop his, that man on live TV. Because I don't think it sold anything. Will it do anything for us? Other than give us good gossip fodder? I know it will. The slap you heard across the world.